Recently, President Museveni was invited by American President Joe Biden to attend the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit that's going to happen on the 13th to 15th this very month of December in Washington. Now, a team of NUP chapter leaders in the USA, headed by a gentleman called Daniel Kauma, had a meeting with uh, the officials of the United States Department to express concern about the invitation extended to President Museveni. Now, they highlighted issues like the escalating abductions and uh, illegal detentions of political opponents, the arrest and torture of journalists and uh, the members of parliament, and also curtailing the works of non-government organizations in the country. Now, according to Daniel Kauma, the discussion was productive and uh, they expect good results from this engagement, like, you know, castling President Museveni's invitation to this summit. Let's briefly listen to Daniel Kauma as he tells more details on this matter. Uh, greetings everyone. Uh, my name is Daniel Kauma. I'm here in Washington, D.C. We just had a meeting at the State Department. We wanted to deliver a statement uh, to both our desk officer and most importantly, Secretary Blinken, uh, to make sure that we express our dissatisfaction to the invitation of many dictators from Africa, including our own, at the U.S.-Africa Summit. We wanted to deliver a very clear message that we, Ugandans in the diaspora, believe in democracy, we believe in individual liberties, and we believe in an economy that works for every Ugandan. So we wanted to communicate that one, we want abductions to stop in Uganda. That two, we want equal justice under the law in Uganda. And three, we want to make sure when we have elections, they are free and fair, among other issues that we highlighted. But most important, we want every Ugandan to rally, to make sure they come to Washington, D.C. on the 9th and the 13th of December to express their dissatisfaction and demand for change in Uganda. We have delivered the message and we appeal to other Ugandans to join us to make sure we fight for our country, we fight for our liberty, and we demand that the United States changes their national interests so that they line up with the interests of the Ugandan people. So we look forward to your presence here in Washington, D.C. We look forward to working with you, and we look forward to driving the flag of the National Unity Platform under President Robert Sentam Chagrani. Thank you so much.